Thank you for that report, Herma. 20 farmers have signed off on a purchase agreement with the St. Lucia Marketing Board. More from Manicia Antoine. The Department of Agriculture, St. Lucia Marketing Board, and the Taiwan Technical Mission has entered into a contractual agreement with the Corps of Farmers in an effort to ensure a consistent supply of produce throughout the year. The purchase agreement will strengthen ties between the St. Lucia Marketing Board and local farmers, thereby enhancing the marketing strategy of produce from the farming community. Under the agreement, the 20 chosen farmers are required to supply a variety of crops, including the seven crops under the enhancement of the efficiency of production distribution supply chain in the fruits and the vegetable sector project, more widely known as the seven crops project. Operations Manager of the St. Lucia Marketing Board, Teresa Daisy, explains that this initiative is in keeping with the mandate of the Marketing Board to support farmers extensively throughout the island. Those farmers will be issued a six-month contract in the initial stage and at the end of the contract they will be issued some incentives in the form of fertilizer and ground cover. Now, to qualify for these incentives, farmers must sell an amount no less than 5,000 worth of produce to the marketing board. After the six months contract comes to an end, the contract will be extended, providing farmers complete and adhere to the contract. Now, those farmers here will be viewed as living testimonies to other farmers because we intend to extend the contract to other farmers who will be signing the contracts today. Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, says the purchase agreement between the St. Lucia Marketing Board and the farmers marks a new milestone for the development of St. Lucia's agricultural sector. It is very encouraging to learn that about 15 farmers were signed a contract with St. Lucia Marketing Board today. And I'm looking forward to see more part, uh, farmers participating in the near future. Taiwan will continue to work with the government of St. Lucia to promote precision agriculture, smart agriculture, and achieve 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Physical Planning, Natural Resources and Cooperatives, Honorable Ezekiel Joseph, encourages the farmers to honor their contractual agreements to ensure the success of the pilot project. Do not enter into a contractual arrangement with the St. Lucia Marketing Board and we agree that we're going to sell whatever crop at a certain price and some person, individual, some middleman will come to you and say, I give you 25 cents more. And you will say, look, I am selling to that middleman because I get 25 cents more. That would create problems for the program because the same way the St. Lucia the Marketing Board is expecting you to produce and to bring in the products the same way they will enter into arrangements with supermarkets to be able to supply the products. So on both sides, we have to be committed. The Minister for Agriculture continues to reaffirm the government's commitment to enable a thriving agricultural economy in St. Lucia. From the Information Unit at the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.